My mom and dad are an amazing set of people. They are from Jamaica, which is a great country with an amazing culture that I was raised with. Um, but they love that country and came to the United States for opportunities for themselves, but also for their children. And not that I wouldn't love Jamaica if I lived there, but because I do go there and visit family all the time, but I would never have all of these opportunities that I've been afforded if they would have gone back. So, so I thank them for that, but they're my heroes because they've taught me integrity and my work ethic and my value system and they they gave me my brother although I guess my brother came first my brother's my best friend and there's something very special so we didn't have much in the way of money my dad worked two jobs my mom worked an atrocious amount on her one job um, neither of which were high level jobs but we didn't have much money, but we were so rich. I, I have this family. There's, there's something about trying new things that can be very scary, very intimidating, whatever it is. It could be trying a new food or going to a different store or sitting at a different lunch table with a different set of girls or any of these things that influences the way that we act, the way that we talk, the decisions that we make. And they can be scary and it can make us not want to try. And we're, we all fall victim to that process because it's scary. But there's something my parents and my brother gave me and this is why those three I should have added my brother will be my heroes on the top of my list. I've never been very afraid to try anything new because why were you afraid we're afraid of failing but I've always been told and I feel it not they're not just words I know it's truth if I fail my family will be there and they always said Noel if you fail at something who cares we love you you are ours it's okay if you try something new if you try this class and you're not very good at it you tried my dad always says to me, he said to my brother too, when we were as young as I can remember, every night when you go to bed, the little the ritual is brush your teeth, wash your face, you know, put on your pajamas or whatever that process is. There is a point before you go to bed where you will look in the mirror. And he said, there's something that I require of the two of you. When you look in that mirror, you will review the events of the day. We all do that naturally as people. And you need to be able to look yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, I did my best today at whatever it was. And that will make it so you can rest your head easy at night. And he said, that'll make it so your mom and I can rest our heads easy for the short time that we get to so that we will go back out there and work to work ourselves to death so that we know that you are trying everything that you can. You are doing the best that you can. And you are taking up every opportunity that's available to you. That will make it so Every minute of every day that my mom and dad had to work, this is what they would tell us, it's worth it for us. My parents hated having to work so much and we, we would feel guilty because they would work so hard to give us whatever that they could. But they always said, no, 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 no. No, you feel guilty if you don't work hard. You work hard. You do your best. And that is what I ask of you. And I will always, my, he's always said, I don't care if anyone else isn't proud of you. I will... I, I will go to my grave being proud of you because of what you've done and what you've tried and working your hardest and never being afraid because you know that we will be here for you. Another hero for me is my boss at work. He's so humble. He's an expert, one of the world's best experts in what he does. And he's so humble and kind and willing to teach anything and everything. I view him, I mean, maybe I view him more as a mentor than a hero. But I think those, those figures in my life go together. And I have one more. And my AP biology teacher from high school, she inspired me to pursue science. And she taught me. She went to college. She went to UC Berkeley. And she's a Japanese-American woman. 
and she went to college at a time when very few women were studying science, very few non-Caucasian women were in school, and she went to UC Berkeley, and then she went to Stanford, and she said it was scary. Her parents didn't speak English, and so when you don't have that at home, you don't. it's hard to communicate a specialized field if you don't have the language for it. And she said it was just, she just felt in a very strange place, but she had great professors that helped her and taught her. And so she told me this when I was in high school. And her experience is, put aside her amazing ability to teach and inspire students to learn and want to learn. She inspired me as another human She showed me that there are women that can do everything and anything that they want to. She did something in a time where nobody else like her was doing that. And that's amazing to me. And it's still amazing. And I I still today thank her all the time whenever I write her letters or emails. I mean, she was my teacher 20 years ago. And so she is definitely a mentor and a hero. But my first heroes would be my parents.